Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Papa San Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. Someone will call and ask to talk with you. Someone will call and ask to talk with you. God says, this is what you've got to do. This word is coming to someone. You're about to have a serious talk with someone. It could be a kingdom spouse, a prodigal. It could be someone, a boss. But you're about to have a serious talk with someone. It's a destiny concerned talk. It's, it's, a, it's an important talk. God says, before you get, before you go in for that talk, determine the outcome. First, make sure you determine first what you want out of that talk. As you are saying, what do you want out of this discussion? What do you want out of this talk? That way, when the talk is not going the way you want, or when it's not leading to the destination, you are going to know so that you correct, so that you cause correct it. So you are, you are, the outcome should not be determined by the talk. No. You should determine the outcome so that you can guide and, and channel the talk in the direction that will give you the desired outcome. For example, you have a misunderstanding with your kingdom spouse and then you are going, they call you to, so for the two of you to have a talk. Do you want to fix this relationship? You want things to go back to the way they used to be? Or, it, or you are done with the relationship? So when you know that you want to fix it and you want things to go back to how peaceful they used to be, that is your, out, your outcome. So you start talking with them, bearing in mind the fact that you want to fix this thing. So at the end of the day, if you realize that they are getting more angry and it's going another way, you've got to let go. You've got to stay quiet. If you need to apologize, you apologize. Just so that you get it to your expected end. Over time, you can then try to course correct or try to, 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 to establish your point and what got you so angry. So if you want to fix it, so you don't go there and if they are getting angry, you two are getting angry. No, one person has got to submit. If you want to fix it, then you've got to let go of the anger. So they cannot be angry and you are angry. No, you've got to submit. But if you if you don't care about the outcome you want out of their lives, then you can go there with the, with the intention to spoil it. Because you might want to be out of their lives, but they want you in their lives. So if you don't define that and state it clearly, then you are going to go there and maybe they are coming with the mindset of having to plead with you to stay, whereas you want to, to leave them. Many people have gone to, to, to the meeting for closure. But since it was just a meeting and they were not, they didn't determine the outcome, you, you go to have a closure with your ex and you end up sleeping with them all over. But if you know that this is closure, you are moving on, you already have someone in mind or you already have a relationship or you just want to be yourself. When you see them going, to, starting to push the buttons because they know that you are, you are the, the aspect of your life that makes you vulnerable. They know the spots that make you vulnerable. When they start going in that direction, you are going to hold them and say, this is why, not why I'm here. I'm here to tell you we had a good time. We had a relationship. Thank you for, the, for, for, for all that you did for me when we were together. But this is as far as we can go. It's over. But if you don't make up your mind and define that, it can end up in any direction. Oh, this has happened so many times. I've seen so many people, they go to have closure and they end up sleeping with the person. They end up having sex and then they leave that place more angry with themselves. You are blaming yourself. You are angry with yourself. You are blaming yourself for, for falling and you are angry with yourself and you are feeling like they used you again. You should have just defined. So that the moment you go and they start speaking dirty and start telling you how they miss you, they miss your body, you rebuke them and tell them that's not why you are there. Always define the outcome before you get into that talk before you get to even talk to them. I hope this word delivers someone from a mistake. I hope this word reaches you at the right time before you make a destiny mistake. God bless you. Shalom.